Today we are checking out another new track from August Burns Red. Now I'm really, really excited to check this one out because it features my favorite vocalist of all time from my favorite heavy band of all time, Spencer Chamberlain from Under Oath. I'm really, really interested to see how Spencer fits into this song. I feel like his features are always really unique and different, you know. Uh, like, we got him on a Brand of Sacrifice song, we got him on a Sleeping with Sirens song, so I really don't know what to expect with this. You know, Spencer kind of is a chameleon, you know. These days he's making a lot of, like, light alternative music with his band Slow Tide, while simultaneously making some of the heaviest music he's ever made with Under Oath. So I really don't know what to expect from him on this track, but I'm just super stoked to check it out. It's like eight minutes long, so let's not waste any time and jump right into it. Got a visualizer slash lyric video this time. These guys have really good leads, I feel like. Every every song that I've heard from them is just like really, really technical and like really lead lines underneath everything. Those higher vocals. This one, like, I'm expecting it to be very proggy with, you know, an eight minute runtime. I think it's the album closer as well. Yeah, a little bit of like a, like, Monster Flames vibe from the instrumental. But it's probably more accurate to say that. Like Monster Flame sounds like these guys. Ooh. Since they've been around forever. I don't know what the heck is going on with this visualizer, man. We got octopuses eating babies. We got red blood cells. We got Mr. Polygons over here. Okay, we'll switch up. Kind of a two-step feel here. I'm hurt Spencer yet. Oh, a sneaky breakdown. The 
this has a very like epic, like storytelling kind of feel to it. switch up getting a little soft here all right I'm gonna I'm calling it now Spencer's gonna come in with the clean vocals over top of this I can hear it what I say He's been working on his cleans a lot lately. Now go back and forth. I'm not sure though. Yeah, yeah. All right, that was August Burns Red with their new song, Reckoning, featuring Spencer Chamberlain from Under Oath. Let's break it down. And I really, really liked this one. It was very long and very proggy. It felt like it was telling this kind of like long personal story, kind of the story of this person's struggles with kind of like mental health and, you know, their self-image and the struggles they've had in life told through this kind of like long meandering song you know is very proggy in that way that there was like no like choruses or or verses that not that i could find but it, it each section flowed really really well one into the next and um I, I had a lot of great grooves it had a lot of really good leads like i said in the in the video like abr always has fantastic leads like just kind of like noodling around underneath all the music like there's always something interesting going on in the background i really really liked spencer's part in this song that middle section could have totally been like an under oath song you know just with the atmosphere spencer's vocals you know he's been really really working on those clean vocals pretty much since 2010 i would say um you know when aaron left the band he was the only one doing any kind of vocals uh, besides tim and so he really had to step it up and work on those cleans to kind of fill the spot that Aaron left. 
Um, and now even on the albums that Aaron's back, you know, he still kind of comes in with those cleans a lot and he's been working on them uh, a lot with his solo stuff, Slow Tide. So it was nice to hear that kind of side of him here, but I was also glad that we got that aggression, those signature screams from him. Man, I just love his voice so much. There's something so emotional about it and it's, it's like really heart-wrenching when you hear those screams. And then it transitioned really nicely back into uh, Jake's vocals and there's a little bit of back and forth between Jake and Spencer I think in the last section of the song and I liked that a lot. I was hoping we'd get some kind of interplay between the two of their voices. But yeah, overall I really liked this song. They managed to keep a song that was eight minutes long, very engaging. I was never bored at any point in the song. I just like this very pulsing rhythm that was easy to kind of you know nod your head along to and it always kind of left you wanting for the next section the next evolution of the song and every time it changed it was very satisfying and it, it, it just led to a great conclusion there at the end. I think this is going to be a great album closer for this album. Their album Death Below comes out on March 24th. I'll be sure to link to their website so you can go grab a copy for yourself. Let me know what you guys thought of this song in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe. It really, really helps out the channel. Thanks so much to Sharp Tone for sending this out to me early so I could get a video out to you guys on release day. It's always a pleasure working together. That's going to do it for me today. I'll see you in the next one.